Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with RH, and in this video, I am going to show you a little bit about the fill and stroke dialog in Inkscape 1.3. So this is one of the videos I'm doing in the in the set of videos to upgrade my content on Inkscape. Some of it's getting a little dated. So I have uh, Inkscape 1.3 open. I have two shapes here. I've got a circle and I've got a, a rectangle here that'll help us see how this dialog works. So I have the fill and stroke dialog open here. On my computer, uh, if you want to get to that, you uh, come down here to this little arrow and then you pull it fill and stroke. It'll pop up in this panel here. And so uh, we're just going to walk through these three tabs here, the fill, the stroke paint, and the stroke style and just go over some of the basics. We're not going to cover all the buttons, but we'll go over the basics. So you can see I have the rectangle selected now. I'm on the fill tab. Right now it's set to a regular uh, regular fill. It's called flat color. Um, and you can adjust that here by clicking. You can also, if we bring that to the top of the display order, you can set the transparency. So you can see that shape underneath showing up. You can pick your color model here. I'm usually working in red, green, red, green, blue, but if you're doing print, you could work in CMYK too. Okay. Um, down here, you've got these um, color palettes here. If you click on those, you will set the fill color of your selected shape, as you can see there. So that's kind of a shortcut to the to the fill here. So then we've got a couple uh, different kinds of, of gradient fills. So we've got a linear gradient. Uh, you can we could do a video just on linear gradient, but you can see here it gives you the lets you adjust how much of the gradient is showing up here. This is just going to a transparent. If we bring that up to the top. Um, as I adjust these, these are called stops. I can adjust those and it, it changes. Uh, how quickly the gradient fades in or out. Um, you can come down here and add a stop if you want a third color in there. So let's just say we want to go to a kind of a blue in between. And you can again, you can adjust those. Okay, that's how the gradient fill works. And I'll be honest, I don't use, I don't do a lot with the uh, with the gradient fills. Um, but it's got good support. Inkscape has good support for the gradient fills. Uh, then you have radial fills. Um, let me get rid of this stop just so you guys, I'm going to get rid of this. So you can see uh, it'll do a, uh, a, a radial or a circular gradient. Uh, then you have uh, the mesh gradient. That's a fairly complicated tool. I don't know that I fully understand it, um, but I'll go ahead and show you how it works. So you can click that mesh gradient and you come over here to your mesh tool. And when you click on these, uh, it points the arrows at the grip where you can set the color. So you can adjust these colors and it creates a, uh, a mesh type of fill. And then you can actually drag these around too if you want. Now you're, it doesn't change, I don't believe it changes the underlying shape there. So you can see it resets when I when I go back to the flat color fill. <clears throat> then you can um, use patterns. Again, this is not something I do a lot um, in Inkscape, but it does have the ability to use patterns. So these would be like hatch patterns in CAD. Right? And um, you can create your own, um, you can create your own patterns. Um, I do not, I have never done that in Inkscape, but I know that you can do that. Um, so you can create your own patterns. And then we have um, the swatch tab, which is just to like create uh, commonly used colors, I believe. Um, I don't use the swatch tool a lot either. So that's the basics of the uh, of the fill tab. Now the stroke tab is to put a stroke on a shape. So if I right now there's no stroke, 
So we can also turn off a fill. So you can see when I do that, the fill disappears. So we can add a stroke. Um, and it's the same basic principles apply uh, to the stroke as apply to a fill. So you can actually apply gradients to your strokes, which is kind of cool. Uh, but same basic principles there. Over here we have the stroke style, so you can set the width of your stroke. Um, you can set some basic dash patterns. Uh, these are a little bit clunkier than what you get in, in uh, a CAD product, uh, but they do. They have some limited. You've got some limited ability there to do some dash lines, and you can adjust the patterns. Um, you can choose your join and cap styles. So this is kind of square and clunky. Let's change this back to... Uh... So uh, this is kind of a miter. You can see it's got a miter there. Uh, this is um, nice and sharp edges, sharp corners. And then this is kind of rounded. It's a little hard to see that, but it's got a rounded edge on it. That's the this type I usually like to use. And then you can choose kind of the stacking order on your stroke. Um, and I usually uh, I usually choose the default here. Now if you have a straight stroke, so let's just draw a straight line path here. So it isn't going to have a fill. Uh, but the color is controlled by the stroke. Okay, And then you can do, uh, if you have a, a path like that, you can actually set some markers, some arrowheads which is kind of handy. Um, so you can set some different kinds of arrowheads there. So that's useful when you when you want to do things like dimensions or leaders if you're coming from a CAD background. Um, you can also pick a marker for the center, the center of the path as well. Oop. I don't know why it's not working. And uh, you can adjust the scale of those markers too. So if you come down here, uh, the size of those markers is adjustable. You can also mess around with the orientation, set a rotation angle. I, I don't normally do that. Don't normally mess with any of that. But so that's what markers are. That's basically everything I wanted to show you in the fill and stroke dialog. Pretty basic. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about another dialogue. We're going to go over the align and distribute dialogue. So appreciate you guys watching.